and we should be live. So thanks again, Mr. Non, for joining me again, as always. Ah, uh, man, always a pleasure, mate. Always a pleasure. We always have a great hunt, I reckon. Oh, yeah, they're always a blast. Well, before we say hello to anyone in chat, I'm going to shoot this guy, get some Kinchek going. And we got some other oh, animals. Eh, dropped. Out that way, too. So let's go before we go, because there's a decent-looking reindeer there. Let's go see uh, what our Kinchek's looking like, at least with this other guy. And hey, Matthew, how's it going? Good to see you. And Mr. Non is on both sides of the glass. We're doing great, Matthew. Glad you can make it. And we figured we'd go on Medved because I haven't been on Medved, honestly, since uh, before the Mosin came out, even. I don't think I've used the Mosin on this map yet. Unless I'm just... Oh, okay. Wow. Having a big lapse in my memory, but I'm almost positive it's been that long because I just... I don't hunt this map very often, but I heard since the release of the uh, Trophy Lodges that uh, Medved's actually been pretty good to quite a few people. You were even saying you had pretty good luck on there uh, besides your uh, premiere yeah. bid, huh? Yeah, yeah. I had a nice level 5 reindeer. I won't say whether it was Lodge worthy, <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh... Yeah, no, and uh, yeah, a lot of reindeer have come back onto the map, which I haven't had in quite a long time, to be honest. Nice. Well, we'll have to see if we can't go harvest a few of those ourselves. Well, at level six was a gold, an 801, and a cinnamon. Oh, nice. nice. So we're going to taxidermy that guy, because that's our first uh, brown bear here on Medved, and it's a cinnamon. So we'll take that in the lodge. Hmm. Got a heap of people piling in, man. Oh, here comes everybody <laughs> rolling in. Yeah, see, normally we got the intro that plays before, so it gives people a little bit of time to roll in. But yep. um, I did some clearing of my hard drive space and uh, accidentally deleted my intro vid, so that thing's gone. <laughs> I'll have to... Uh... Might just blast that musky just to check my consent. Yeah, lay it down. Oh, what happened there? Uh, 5075, it's going down. Use the 223 there. Oh no, you used the most. Oh, huh? Wow. <laughs> That's one <laughs> tough musk deer. <laughs> yeah. But hey, next gen and Mr. Hendry, how's it going? Caleb Bowen's here as well. So is Warden Master and Evan. Turkey Man is here. So is Caden Hilfrick. Good to see you all. And All Around Sportsman, how's it going? But yeah, so I uh, I deleted my, uh, oh, what is that right there? Decent looking. What does the Mosin do at long range on reindeer? Um, I shot that one with a single lung liver and got a 99% quick kill at around 50. So what do we got here? About 270, oh, 280. Oh, right there, maybe? Non. It's only a Famali, but it's a, uh, it appears to be albino there. Uh, where, where are you looking? To the left, highlighted. It just went behind that group of trees there. You may not be able to see it. And, okay, yeah. hey, Adam Schmidt, how's it going? Yeah, there's an hey, albino Adam. over there. So uh, it is only a female, but I do want to get it. I don't think I've ever gotten an albino reindeer, and they're coming back. So just so happens that's what I got on mine as well. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, see, I didn't even get to catch your premiere today. They had a... Uh, a makeup game for uh, my son's T ball. A um, few of his games have been rained out, so today was a makeup day. And the other team ended up not showing. So we just turned it into a little short, quick practice and uh, got to come home in time to get the stream going because I thought originally it was going to push the stream back a little bit, but we got lucky. And I wonder if they're going into that brush right there in front of us because i can't see once they cross it mm, they could be yeah. we'll use the antler rattle see if we can get them to come through the other side oh coming out the other side maybe did i just spot something well i'm just gonna lay down right here on uh, these, seven uh... very hard links oh nice just to the west 
I don't think I'll be able to see him from where I'm at. Oh, it's out oh. running. Oh. I saw something run, but I didn't get to spot it. That's all right. We'll find it yeah, in a moment. That, that was a little links. I want to find where these reindeer went. Maybe they kept going. Let's get into this cover either way right up here. And hey, Chasney, how's it going? Hey, Caleb, still rocket leaguing, I see. He keeps getting demoted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think those reindeer were right there. In the bushes, then? Yeah, to the left. I just saw what looked like it was at level four. But let's get up here and take a look either way. Yeah, once you get in these trees, you you won't see them. No. Pretty pretty dense in there. <laughs> Very well ca camouflaged. And hey, Mrs. B, how's it going? Good to see you. And Ryder Dell is here as well. And Matt Collins. Hey, Mrs. B. How goes things in the bearded household, Mrs. B? Oh, yeah, you shot. I was like, what's dead right here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta, you can check. Let non get his can check. Hopefully it's good. And Dylan Should Fender be. just rolled uh, in. Dang. I think I missed it. Um, there's and a bunch of reindeer right zero. here. There's a bunch of reindeer right here. I don't see that albino, though. Where did she go? There went that four that way but where's the albino it's hard to see him in the snow <laughs> <laughs> she might have went back over there to the right there's another level four wow you aren't lying there's reindeer everywhere mm -hmm. yep oh and i'm getting zero cover right here that's not very good well since they're all spooking to the north i want to keep moving up in cover then so we don't have all these bushes in front of us uh, yep, okay. Well, actually, you know, in all honesty, just lay one of these over and on. We need to get your can check up. Okay. Then I'll we'll... just uh, three, create the hell out of it then. There you go. Nice. And as they go to run, I'll run out here and see if I can see that albino. Is that it right there? I believe that is it yep it'll turn sideways or anything or i mean i can't just shoot it in the butt it's just a little female i'm not worried about uh score or anything so we'll actually pull out the 338 cole has got him to stop there you go oh. i shot her in the shoulder blade with the 338 and it did like nothing <laughs> she's going down though i think she <laughs> looks like she just just turned as you sort of uh, pulled the trigger <laughs> Oh, so I mean, I got a weird angle shot on her there. That's possible. But there's a four right there. If it stops again. Oh, wow. Yep, that one did a turn right before I shot. Glad I waited. <laughs> if you see something else in the area, lay waste to her, buddy. Uh, yep, no worries. Let's see what this one's going to do here. Pull the gun back out. It's not going broadside, but for a split second. And I haven't hunted reindeer in so long. I'm not sure I trust going for heart just yet. <laughs> He's not going to give me a choice, though. Oh, I know I missed. Oh, oh, I didn't. Holy cow. I swear I missed. <laughs> Thought I was off to the right a bit. But he's down, but let's go get this albino first. Another four. Another four right in front of you. Got a decent rack on him, too. Oh, I shot too high. I know I did. No, I didn't. Nice. <laughs> I'm getting lucky today. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to tell your ranges on this map for me, so I thought he was closer than 150, but he might have been... A little further out. Let's see. The rangefinder's still got that little bit of a bug in it where it, you know, jumps all over the place, centimeter to centimeter. So. Yep. 
where'd that albino i know we got one four over there we got one four up here and that albino's around here somewhere here we go here's some gotta get gotta uh, glitched bear over there as well to the right <laughs> it's just standing there can't spot it oh man here comes the glitched know, animals <laughs> run through all this thick stuff here and hey nobody how's it going good to see you there we go there's that all matt's wow there's... matt's got a question there about the uh black tail black tail on the ew stream what did you think of the true racks on them they look a lot better than they did uh when they first showed them off um i like them a lot better now i'm ready to get out there and hunt them honestly that doesn't It is albino though, that female was. So we're definitely gonna put her in the rear lodge. Okay, eighty percent can checks. Um, but the white tail are honestly the what I'm looking forward to the most. Um I've always preferred the white tail in game and uh I think it's still gonna be that way once we get the true Rex. It's just something about the way the racks look on the white tail I prefer over the black tails. And hey, lengthier hat. How's it going? Good to see you. Uh oh. Hey, Wade. What's up? Is this the glitched bear you were talking about? Uh, down there. Yeah, if it's just standing, like just sitting there, sort of thing. Yeah, just sitting there. Yeah, I couldn't spot it or anything, so I'm guessing it was glitched. I mean, yeah, I maybe spot a point either with caution, just in case. But you know, <laughs> there's a lynx there. There's animals. All another four reindeer. Wow, I don't think my med bed has ever been this lit. <laughs> and there's an actual gold level four reindeer. I know something's wrong. I don't get those. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put him in the lodge. And Ernesto Espita Espita is here as well. So is I Want to Go Fast 28. Good to see you guys. That's another decent looking level four right there. I'm going to kill whatever zones are in this area, if any, but oh well. <laughs> there should be another level four up there by you, too, that I shot. Yeah, it was. I'm, I'm down here with you now, but it, yeah, I saw the blood trail for it, so I'm going to have a look at this bear. There we go. Oh, I can confirm the trophy on the bear. Do it. See what happens. It's shaking its head. <laughs> okay, it was shot with a 338 at 265 meters Very by nice. no one. Ah, we got a poacher <laughs> on the map, huh? We need to get him. Yep. <laughs> and thanks for that, Caden. Caden says, hit that like button. Thank you very much. Yep, done it. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> do appreciate all the support from you guys i'm uh blown away every week how many people we get in the live streams it's pretty amazing all right let's grab him oh wow something's definitely changed another gold level four <laughs> a little bit bigger than the last one well you know there's a lot of positions in the trophy room so we'll take that one too <laughs> nice if they're golds or rares, I'm putting them in the lodge. There's another one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, guys, I'm just going to throw this out here. If you haven't hunted your Medved map since uh, Trophy Lodges, you might want to. Now, I did notice oh, yeah. that I lost probably majority of my need zones um, that I had here, um, especially up to the northwest on the, along that river right there. All those reindeer need zones are gone. Um, but it doesn't mean the reindeer aren't there. I just don't have the need zones for them anymore. And where's that? And Silver Moon's here. Hey, uh, Just over Moon. to the southwest. He's just sitting there about 200 out in the open. Oh, wow. Well, you can take that one if you want. I need to go up here and get this other one that I dropped before I forget about it. And there's more reindeer. Okay. There's a... Uh, Another four right there, running off. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh, dropped him on the spot. On <laughs> nice shooting. Hey, fake child. But yeah, if you guys haven't been on uh, 
Medved, I don't know. I suggest going and checking it out. I don't know if maybe they made some adjustments to animal spawns or what, but I have never seen this many animals on my Medved. I mean, we hadn't even left the starting area, really. And they're still just rolling out like crazy. And um, Adam Schmidt saying he got a 991 reindeer earlier. Very nice. Congrats. Nice. And Link to Your Hat says, my dad shot a nine legendary black bear and almost got his first diamond at level nine. Very nice. That is pretty awesome. Now, where was that guy? I swear he was up here, wasn't he? Um, yeah, it should be somewhere around there. Mate, though, you got the reindeer coming up behind <laughs> I don't remember exactly Ooh, I actually where got we shot this guy. Got on it. Oh, nice. See why he dropped like a sack of potatoes there. These reindeer don't know what to do. They keep spooking between me and Non here. <laughs> <laughs> Your reindeer should be just up there somewhere. Should be, somewhere but I don't remember. Ex oh, there it is. We see it. And John D, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Just running around here on Medved, getting some animals for the lodge, and we've had a pretty good start, I will say. There we go. That's what I'm used to. The level 4 silver, 757. <laughs> And more That's reindeer. right, though. One, one uh, silver out of, what, four golds is not bad. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'll take it. That's. Uh, <laughs> I'm still amazed that I got that many golds already. But how has everyone's lodge hunts been going? How's the... Uh, how's y'all's lodges looking? Sure, they're getting filled up with some pretty nice animals. I've been browsing through all the discords, and man, the amount of diamonds and rares people are slaying these days, it's just, it's crazy. And then I run around on Leighton for like four hours the other day, and I didn't find anything worth shooting. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, Killer B, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Hey, Killer. We're actually having pretty good luck out here on Medved already, Killa. Got quite a few golds already for the lodge. And an albino uh, reindeer. Just a small famale, but still. We haven't even got to the good spots yet, then. No. No, we just started at that lodge. The wind's terrible the way we're going, but I want to go check out this lake over here, so... See what's in the area we know there's animals back there we could have sat there it seemed like all stream they kept coming back matter of fact yeah look at that look at that hunting pressure we laid down right there <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was it's just a, looking at that <laughs> it's a nice little blob there it wasn't as concentrated as i thought it was going to be though so that works And Killaby's doing well. Had his checkup with the surgeon for his shoulder yesterday, and things went great. Glad to hear that. And good day, Mr. Tim Kent. How's it going? Hey, Tim. And yeah, I got lucky once again. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've been having a little bit of issues with my back lately. And um, I had an MRI on Monday, and I was scheduled to go back to the doctor uh, this coming Monday. But they called me earlier today with another cancellation, so I'm actually getting in there tomorrow at 4.30. So they'll go over the MRI and uh, see what's going on, so I'm looking forward to that. Is that that? Oh, 382, is that that mythical? Or is that another, like, level 7? Uh, bear track? I, I, actually, I don't know what the max weight is on these... I don't either. Want me to shoot him? I don't. I don't. I haven't really checked him. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea either. I'm sure someone in this and uh, chat will probably know. Right. And Tottis Ninja, what's up? Welcome to the stream. And John D says, I think 
The Lodge nuked my Xbox. Oh no. Like your Xbox quit working. <laughs> That's not good. Oh. Ah, that's not good at all. It means it's time for an upgrade, I guess, huh? Or wait till the new one comes out. But actually, in regards to my back, it's gotten a lot better in the last few days. I'm not having the uh, the pain shooting down my legs aren't near as severe. So uh, I'm pretty happy about that all the way around. <laughs> But I've been taking it pretty easy. Uh, hadn't been on the PC much. Hadn't got much done around the house. Um, it's been bad, but but good. All right. Well, Next gen saying something about his lodge was great until his progress went. He was level thirty, and now he's level six. I saw that in the Discord. Next gen man. I'm sorry to hear that. That's. Um, I don't remember if you were on PC or console, but if you're on PC, that is a good reason to uh, keep a backup save file of your game for mm. things like that. And making sure the cloud sync is on. Yep. Okay, we're almost to that. And Steam. And Lucas has just joined in, man. Hey, Lucas, how's it going? Oh, and Nanastase is here as well. And Nanastase, I didn't even see. Where's Nanastase? There she is. Good Just to see you, Nanastase. Welcome to the stream. Oh, next gen was on Xbox. Yeah, unfortunately, there's uh, another four reindeer. <laughs> they got your need zone as well. How did you even spot that thing? He was just standing there looking at me oh, funny. There we go. That's why. Um, <laughs> oh, there's two of them there. Oh, I didn't see the other one. Oh, they're in the trees. Yep. Well, there we go. Yeah. We got two to take right here. Uh, I don't care which one. Which one do you want, Non? I'll take. I'm either. easy, man. I'll take whichever you don't want. I'll take the darker one because I like that fur variation better. So I'll take the one on the left. Yeah, hey, Roger that. Actually, Whenever you're ready. I'm gonna use the Mosin. In three, two, one. Ooh, I think I flesh wounded. Oh, it's skating. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> it just like slid halfway across the, the screen right there. <laughs> oh, apparently there's a Zaggy raid going on, man. Uh oh. Hey, Zaggy. Hey, <laughs> Zaggy. How's it going? And Milstead Farms, or Films, sorry. Zaggy sent me from Twitch. Oh, thanks for the shout out there, Zaggy. Yeah, Zaggy's, I believe, and Flinner have both been on Medved recently. Um, yeah, I haven't, and I should have been out here way sooner. I mean, look at all these animals everywhere. Holy cow. This is, if it was like this all the time, I would hunt Medved a lot more. My problem is I hardly ever saw animals on my Medved map, but maybe they made an adjustment to the uh, to the population. Who knows? But whatever they yeah, did, definitely I like it. it. <laughs> and Ravenholt Gaming and Jeff Zaffron, everybody with the Zaggy Raid. Welcome, welcome. And there we go. That's a silver one right there. Silver level four. But I think we're going to take that level six bear right there. See if it's another gold. Don't know if this one went down. I'll follow it and see. Roger that. I'll run back and pick this bear up. It should have went down. I don't think we got a good shot on that one that time. And Whitetail Runner is here. How's it going, Whitetail? <laughs> and Caleb's ranting about Rocket League. Yeah, it's a... It's a great game, but it can be extremely frustrating, Caleb. <laughs> Ask uh, Julia. She'll tell you. She even has her chat turned off. <laughs> Just because people can be so toxic. That's a nice looking four. That might be a gold four. Wow. 
Wow. Those are nice. No, that's a three. That's a three. Need to be a little looking around a little better before we just start shooting everything. Might get lucky. With just the sheer amount of animals on here, there just might be a diamond lurking around somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I think this thing may have died. I don't know. I'm still chasing it. It's gone a long, long way. <laughs> oh, those reindeer are on the move. We're just going slow because I want to get through this brush here. And probably take a couple of these reindeer over here while we wait for Mr. Nod. Oh, wow. Yeah, he did go a ways, huh? <laughs> yeah, I could be a while. I've just lost these tracks now. He's, uh, he's vanished. Oh, there you go. So we only got a right long right scapula, but still got 98% quick kill. So not bad. And this one's actually a gold. The last one was cinnamon, and it looked pretty similar. A little taxidermy. It put them side by side. Might be able to tell the difference then. And where is this guy? Right there. Got another rest zone there, or feed zone. And lengthier hat was on Medved two days ago, and man, I was missing out on stuff. Yeah, it's it's uh, I don't know. I I would almost say they had to have done something. I mean, the animals were never this lit for me ever, and being that most of my need zones are gone right now, I wouldn't think there would be this many animals. There you go. Keep walking out of the way. Oh. Okay, I've lost this one. So I'm heading back. It hasn't died by the looks of the hunt pressure, so... Oh, well that works out good then. Hopefully it stays alive now. <laughs> They're pushing each other around. There we go. Wow, actually having decent luck with the heart shots on these reindeer today. <laughs> nice. I'll take it. Okay, Caleb Bowen's saying no problem with chat, but the people that just run straight into me. Yep. Bumps are a thing. And thanks for that, Tim. And we got another gold. 814. None of them have been really big, but we've gotten quite a few golds. Nice. And another three there, but hey, it's just money. Why not? None of those were good shots. <laughs> that one may <laughs> run off and not die. <laughs> oh, no, there it goes. The cartwheel. Oh, I think I found the reindeer. He's, at, he's come back out. He's limping. Take him down. Oh, wow, that's really weird. He's dragging a leg. <laughs> yeah, I, I swear that's an animation that I hadn't seen before. It seems... I mean, I've seen them hobble and stuff like that, but if you shoot them in one of their legs, they that leg will not touch the ground. They'll, like, drag it behind them. It's pretty cool looking. I swear, that, that's the one thing about Expansive Worlds that I'm 50-50 on. I really like that, uh, you know, the constant changes and tweaks and things they, they're always making to the game. But they don't tell us a lot of them. So who knows what they've done. They like to leave a little yeah. bit of mystery for us to figure it out on our own. And hey, Solid7, how's it going? Good to see you, man. Hey, Solid. Okay, I think this one's finally dead. <laughs> There's some female moose. That's the first niece we've seen. Nicely done. I'll just grab this one and I'll head towards you. All right, okay. But yeah, so we know that they've been working on the white tail and black tail because we're getting those, you know, right away. And we know they've been working on the elk 
So what do you guys think? What animal is next? Do you think they're going to just complete one map at a time? So are they going to do the moose next and then move on to another map? Or do you think that they're going to do it by size of the animals? What, what are your guys' thoughts in chat? I honestly have no idea. I kind of hope it's map by map, but uh, who knows? Yeah, that would be that would be good, I think. Getting yelled at by a bear up there and on. Yeah, well, I think I might have spooked him. Five medium and got your rest zone for him. Nobody wants to know have they put bigger animals on now due to the true racks coming? Who knows? I mean, that could be a thing. Um, some people have speculated that they, you know, up the spawns a little bit because of the trophy lodges, um, but they really hadn't let us know. They haven't said. And Milstead wants to see them add banded ducks and geese. That would be pretty cool. You know, I I would be more excited about them adding more feathered animals or variants if it worked a little more like Classic does. Um, I don't know. There's just something about the, uh, the way the duck and goose hunting and... Uh, what's the other one? I can't even think of it. Magpie. The magpie. Eel. Oh, that one, yeah. Sorry. Um, there's the mechanic in classic is just it's it's perfect. I I don't know why they didn't just literally copy and paste that over to uh, Call of the Wild because it's uh it's quite fun and classic. Which for those of you who didn't know, classic's about to be free to play. Hmm, I can't find this reindeer. I have one track somewhere over here, and it's just disappeared. I was going to say, that cannot be right. Look at that. You put the range right on the moose. It says it's 434 meters. Aim at his feet, and it's 200. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd be cool with that, Milstead. That would be cool. It's not a huge level 4, but it should be gold. So we'll take him. Probably won't put him in the lodge. Save that for the bigger racks. Wait for him to sit up. And that should be double lung right there. So he'll go down. Next gen says the ducks need to fly faster. The teals are pretty quick. Uh, yeah, the ducks aren't hard to hit when they're flying off at all, though. The teals a little bit more of a challenge, though, because of the smaller size. Tell you what, this reindeer is doing my head in. <laughs> disappeared again. Wow. Maybe yeah. having some multiplayer issues. Doing a little bit I of skipping know. around. He's pretty sure he's dead this time. <laughs> the Red Deer, but, Lucas, I think that's going to be their biggest challenge for True Rex. I mean, just because of the sheer amount of points that are on Red Deer. Um, it, it, it'll be interesting to see for sure. I can't wait to see him. These tracks are not very easy to see in the sunlight. In the darker part of the woods, it's a really easy to see, but this pink is not working in the sun. <laughs> oh, there we go. Gold and 843. Not too bad. Got quite a few golds on the hunt so far tonight. Oh, and we got some bacon morning calls. I need to equip my bacon caller. Lures. Let's put it right there. The wind's right in their face, though, but maybe we can get a get eyes on them before they spook and hey courts how's it going good to see you he says 38 watching only 20 likes smash that like button y'all okay found it finally wow very nice milstead is stalking a level four piebald moose as we speak very nice my friend put some pictures of that guy in the discord Definitely like to see that. 
And if you haven't already, uh, there is a link to the Discord in the description. By all means, join the Discord. Come hang out. We don't just play Call of the Wild there. We play quite a few other games. Been uh, doing a lot of Rocket League lately. And Milstead with the subscription. Thanks for that, buddy. Here we go. This is probably where the hogs were. Pick up their rest zone here. Maybe even catch them out on the ice. Nope, this was a Chase uh, Baker shot a level 5 reindeer, only a 9.15. Yeah, I feel your pain, mate. I feel your pain. Yeah, the, 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 reins, the reindeer and the male Gimsbok are like the two that, you know, if you get a level 5, you know, you might not even want to get excited because it, <laughs> it's not a guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> Never even seen a level 5 Gimsbok. Um, I haven't either, personally, but I have seen them. Saw Zaggy get one, I believe, and it was only like a nine thirty six or something. It was crazy. Oh wow! I'm not seeing the boar. I don't want to continue to run in bad wind, so we may just shoot her for the money, and then get out of here. Or if she's going to be difficult, we may just let her be. Where are we at on the map here? Um, do we want to run there or do we want to fast travel? Let's go for a bit of a run. Let's go north, none. You're already north. I'm north? But... Okay. See, there you oh, go. Oh, we're going back this way. Yep. Okay. James Pence got a level 5 uh, male Gimsbok. Got a 952 out of it. Very nice. Oh, nice. Wow, Chase Baker used a level 5 male Gimsbok <laughs> as a Kinchek for a lion. And thankfully, he had his Kinsek, but it was only a 920. See, yeah, that's just crazy. Wow. But you can have, you know, max level animal and it not even be a diamond. I mean, I understand when they come in with the 948s, the 949s, you know, right there on the edge. Put a 920 at, I don't know. I, I don't believe the max level animal should score that low. You know, I like the fact that, you know, most of them are diamonds. With most with yep. most of the species, anyway. Well, it's like the female gems box, you know, level four, and they can be max weight. So. Yep. Yeah, in the level, I don't even think um, you can get a thousand scoring male Gimsbok. I think only the females go that high, which is just crazy. <laughs> I see Quartz is talking about me giving him a hard time. It, it wasn't your lack of skill, not not at all. It was that you said you, you told me you don't need the zeroing perk yet. I think. He, you proved you might need the zeroing perk. <laughs> and look at this guy. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's glitched. He's dead. He's dead now. <laughs> no, but I've seen Quartz make some incredible shots. Oh, there's another one right here. Just glitched out. <laughs> oh, there we go. Some piggies. Silver out of that one. And a gold out of that one, actually. Should have spotted that. Nice. Who knows? That might have been a diamond. <laughs> 871. I'm used to the warthogs where, you know, the tusks are just gigantic. But, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and taxidermy that one. Uh, there's another one here. Where? Oh, up there? Uh, yep, yeah, one female. What is with these animals here? Or at least these boar. <laughs> We've got the bacon weapon. Now I'm sure this will hurt me, but go ahead. Oh, it oh, killed me. Over me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't heck? think it would kill me. I just thought it would hurt. <laughs> I got I got half damage. Oh. But that was that should have been a brain shot. What? 
There we go. Here comes the F's in chat for the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the death by boar there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, I'm actually going to jump and... to this lodge here. <laughs> so, okay. And Julia Chill Gaming is here as well, man. Hey, Julia, just in time to see me get tossed into the sky by <laughs> non. <laughs> that wasn't my fault. Was bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard another warning call to the west over here, which was pretty much the area that we were at. So let's run over there. Maybe there's some more pigs stuck. But see, we just shot. How many did we shoot right there? I guess we shot three. Oh. So yeah, that's only level three pressure. Yep. Blame non. Just a typical Sean John stream. <laughs> 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 really thinks I get people killed or I get killed a lot in this game you know I don't know I don't know well I mean and not saying that you do but you do <laughs> on stream so you know <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta make it entertaining <laughs> right kill that <laughs> well we got a warning call from more pigs but this is not actually this is a little more north of where the other ones were but I'm just going to assume they're stuck just to get moving more north where we wanted to go anyway. Yep. No worries. And how are you doing, Miss Julia? How has your luck been? I saw you were playing Rocket League the other day, but I didn't want to disturb you. Dude, you might be grinding the Rocket Pass. Oh, that was a Just Now track, so maybe they are on the move. Although I don't see any other tracks around it. Do you? Oh. No. There's a feed zone down here, though. They may be bugged out and just sitting in rocks somewhere. Wouldn't even see them. But we barely saw those other ones. <laughs> well, yeah, pretty much on top of them. Oh, that was for a lynx. And no tracks Julia coming. Julia mentioned the Wolfpack game and what accidentally <laughs> happened in that. <laughs> Got a kill. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Wolfpack is a um, it's a submarine simulator. I would I guess you'd say. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And uh, apparently, there's a pretty steep learning curve to it. And uh, yeah, Non and Julia were having a blast with that. Um, may have made some mistakes. <laughs> well, I don't. I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd call it a mistake. I mean, there's just some stupid little hiccup about having to close a hatch before you dive a submarine. I mean, I've <laughs> never never heard of that before. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm, I'm assuming y'all sunk the uh, the submarine then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Mr. Quartz, no, I have not. Um, I have not played the. Sea of Thieves since the new update. I'll have to get to that at some point. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in it now. I heard you can go fishing, and I believe they put the arena in there, and all kinds of stuff. So it's uh, probably definitely worth a second look. Just don't know when I'm going to have time to do it. I mean, uh, I don't know. That the, the main reason we came to Medved today... Was one, we hadn't been here in forever, and two, I had to get off of Leighton. I don't want to uh, get burnt out grinding Leighton, especially with True Racks coming. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be spending a lot of time and a lot of streams on there. Yeah. As will, sure. I'm sure, every content creator on YouTube and Twitch. <laughs> Trying to get those unique and different looking racks. I'm not seeing nothing. No, a little bit empty through here. But we're trying to make our way to that lake up north, but I wanted to run through here. I actually had really good luck in this area. Um, gah. Probably over a year ago now on one of Beard Streams, one of his competitions, I killed a few links in this area. But I'm not even seeing tracks for anything. Okay, we're almost up to them. We just need to keep running north-northwest. North-northwest? Yeah, okay. 
Yeah. Leighton is going to be all we'll see for a while. That's right, Quartz. <laughs> It just depends mm -hmm. on really how fast they roll out the true wrecks. You know, if it's every two weeks, a new animal. Um, I assume elk will be next, so that'll still be a latent animal. But after that, it's kind of a... They hadn't really said anything, so we don't know what animal's coming after that. They may stay away from the really big animals like the moose for now and go to maybe Fernando and do the muleys and all that. Well, see, what I'm curious is the moose... And the red deer are on multiple maps. So I'm wondering if those will come last. Or, mm, I don't know. Because yeah. they are the bigger animals. They are what I think will be the more difficult animals to do. And they are on multiple maps. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting. I can't wait to see what the fallow look like. Mm, oh, yeah. And that's something else, you know. Are they one day going to do something with the Predators? You know, like they do in Classic, where you can see a difference in the skull size? That's something I'd like to see come. Because right now, all the Predators look the same. You know, a trivial brown bear looks yeah. just as impressive as a legendary. So it's more about fur variations with them at the moment. I heard a musk deer, but who knows where it's at in all this brush. Oh, yeah, and I'm not really see him in this stuff. Terribly worried about a musk deer. Even the diamonds, you know, that's just a tooth. <laughs> Are they gonna have true rack musk deer <laughs> with their <laughs> their teeth being <laughs> a million different combinations of two teeth? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I. Have... <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I, mean, I guess it's possible. Have different width and stuff. I mean, because that's I suspect yeah. that's what they'll do with the horned animals. Have the you know different width and amount of curl on the uh, horns. Yeah. But you know, one thing I do think is I think at least for the black tail, the average black tail isn't going to look as good as the average black tail that we have in game now I just don't think they're going to look as big or as impressive as the black tail now which I'm totally fine with but that means when you do see that big monster one it's going to be something special yeah yep. and get the old adrenaline going again won't it all good chase bud catch you next time and next gen says, my neighbor's cow was in our pasture, and I had to walk to the neighbor's house and tell them I brought a knife for no reason. I don't even know if they got the cow. What? What? I'm confused. If you're trying to say you're going to take on a cow with a knife, good luck, bud. Because <laughs> once they figure out you're out to hurt them, that's a big animal. <laughs> My mother has a few cows, and uh, she's got one that they call... Oh, there's a lynx. Lynx, yep. Looking at oh, me funny. Wrong one. Looking at me real funny. It's looking like my, like my cat does when it gets angry. Puts its ears back. Oh. I think I might have... 7,500? You definitely hit it. It's 50... It's going down. Oh, yeah. I'd, Dead. I'll put multiple bullets in it. It's just a little one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And SOS shot the second diamond moose recently. Very nice, a 953. Congrats. And Quartz says, I thought it was interesting back when Hal Graham pointed out pretty quickly that any new maps would already have true racks for all the species. Made me think the next map should be pretty sweet. Well, if we think about it, you know, a lot of us are assuming it's going to be an Australian map. And if it is an Australian map, you're looking at, you know, wild boar and feral goat probably and that's really the only horned animals they would have mm. pretty much i mean i don't really know what species we got over here i don't hunt so <laughs> oh look at that we shot right underneath the lungs that's why we didn't get anything on that first one and then the last two we oh, just funny shot them in the butt <laughs> you get one to belly scratch <laughs> <laughs> Uh, should we put this one in the lodge? Nah, we're not going to put that one in the lodge. 
I mean, they all look the same, but still. That's the little bitty one now. We didn't, didn't take a good shot on it. And Miss B says, so how are the likes? Never mind. Everyone should just go and hit the like button. Non-action is non-acceptable. Thank you very much, Mrs. B. She's always so clever with those things for all the different channels, what she comes up with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Need to put her at the head of marketing there. And hey, Reckless, and how's Reckless. it going? Yeah, hey, we were almost, that was almost a jinx <laughs> moment there. Synced. <laughs> yep, synced. <laughs> and that's true. I wonder if they would add something. I don't know if they would. Maybe it'd be too controversial, but I'd be down to go shoot some dingoes. I don't think they'd be controversial because they are. Um, I don't know. Don't know if they call them a pest or not, but you know they. Yeah, they're vicious. If you're not careful, so. Oh yeah, and hey, H House, how's it going? Yeah, uh, dingoes, wild dogs, and those are dangerous animals. You don't want to come across a pack of them when they're hungry. Oh, no. Take it a little slow now that we're coming up on this first body of water here. It's just a small one, not the big lake. But we may okay. have some stuff lurking. We do have a bear over there. Different fur variation, so we might want to put that one in the lodge. And Peyton Backus has just subscribed. Welcome to the channel, Peyton. There are coyotes of Australia. Oh, they are the coyotes of Australia. Oh, okay. I almost read that as a question. Because <laughs> I was going to be like, y'all have coyotes? <laughs> I swear I hear something in front of us down there. But I don't see it. Probably it. Oh, I see it. There you go. A level? You just called out uh, level two. Ooh, we'll have to shoot that one. I don't like that angle though. Shot him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> and that bear hasn't moved. What's the range no, on one? Well, we can spot it though. Uh, that's two twenty. So said... maybe the two two three is quiet enough. I'm not sure. Figured he would have spooked. But that's an 826 yeah. musk right. deer. That one's going in the lodge. Oh, nice. Yeah, one, I'm curious how big the musk deer are in the lodge comparative with the uh, the roe deer. The roe deer are huge in the lodge compared to a lot of the other animals. <laughs> <laughs> 198. We'll just walk towards it till it turns towards us, hopefully, and stands up. Now that we're getting closer, though, that may actually just be a brown brown bear, common one. Don't see anything else on that side of the lake there. Uh, Bethany B is here. And Miss Bethany B, how's it going? Good to see you. Thanks for coming and dropping by. Oh, there we go. Now he's getting angry. Stand up. There you oh, go. Nice. Little brain shots for you there, Mr. Quartz. Took one on that musk deer as well. <laughs> see what <laughs> see what the zeroing perk can do, Quartz? It's amazing. <laughs> no, but I, I applaud you for taking on that challenge, man. That's uh indeed a challenge. Not using the zeroing perk. Quite enjoyed the stream the other night, my man. And he says, shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> and Officer Taylor is here. How's it going, Taylor? Another brown bear. Oh, another gold one, actually. Okay. Nice. Well, we already got one gold in there, and this one's smaller, so we won't taxidermy that one. But let's just keep heading north. We'll take it a little slow from here since we're so close to that next mm -hmm. lake and there might be something in between here and there yep 
SOS got an 885 row today. Very nice. Seen the three horns, thought it was a diamond, checked the track, and was sad. Oh, that's still a really mm -hmm. nice road deer, though. <laughs> Quartz. <laughs> Yeah, there's just I I just like having the zeroing perks. One of the perks for me that's that's a must have. Um, now, not necessarily if you get all your animals right at 150 and and closer, you know it's no problem. You don't need to have the zeroing perk. But for those longer shots, I think it's necessary. Um, you Julia could always use um, zeroing either. Yeah, I mean you she could always <laughs> like they do, and you know they they apparently you know have spent enough time with the guns, and they know the bullet drop, and that's you know I applaud them for that. Like I said, it's an extra layer of challenge they put on themselves. But uh, yeah, I don't know. When I started up the Xbox, I was grinding to get that zeroing perk. <laughs> I needed is it. every weapon set to 150 zeroing now? I do believe so, if I'm not mistaken. Even even like the 9.3, because that's max range on the rifle side of it is. Well, it would be. I believe it would be for those rifles the mid range, possibly, because you know, right. for, that's what I would assume. I don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. But I yeah, would assume it sense. would be the mid range for that weapon. Yeah, see, there you go. The 9.3 is 100. So yeah, which yeah. is the mid range. But that 9.3 is pretty flat shooting all the way out to like what 2 250 yeah. easy yeah so you know the, the 9.3 is probably the best uh probably the mosin too the mosin's a pretty flat shooting rifle um i don't know quartz would be quartz and julia would know better than i would on that but i know for long range the mosin's great And have I seen the video where a moose swallowed an arrow? Uh, no, I have not. That just that that. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Jack Beard is here. Hey, Beard, how's it going? Good to see you, bud. Glad you got to catch a stream. Hope you got your feet kicked back and are enjoying a cold one, relaxing after a day's worth of work. Hope everything went good, bud. Okay, there you go. All throwing out all the hints there. Mosin is the exact same bullet drop as the other rifles, the 243, the 7mm, and the 338. Julia says the Grelix 300 is at the part of the scope where the crosshair gets wider. Tricky to guess in between. Very nice. So, without using the zeroing perk, Julia, do you prefer to still get them at exact numbers? You know, at 150, at 300? Or do you just wing it <laughs> oh man got sunburnt beard mm. that's a no Ooh, good ouch <laughs> especially considering you got to go right back out in the sun tomorrow <laughs> that's a tough one but yeah i bet it's it, i imagine it's starting to warm up up there huh We've been uh, fairly warm down here the last few days. And when I mean warm, I mean hot. <laughs> I'm ready for winter again already. We didn't really get much of one. I saw a bear take off to the north-northwest over there, Non, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, I'm falling behind a little bit, me cat. Just trying to play with the keyboard. <laughs> That is the other thing I like about, uh, for those of you who didn't hear me earlier, or did I even mention it earlier, I moved the studio. I'm now in a uh, little bit of a bigger room, um, so hopefully it won't get as warm and the PC won't get as warm. I haven't heard the fan kick into overdrive as often, so that's good. Where are you at? I don't see you. Maybe it'll spook and run out on the ice and get lucky. But, um... I can keep the animals out of this room because the other room, the animals were always barging in and because of two dogs and a cat, um, my PC didn't like the, the fur buildup very much. 
I was having to clean that thing out all the time. Got a uh, four easy moose to the northwest. Only a small mate, though. If you want to shoot him, you can shoot him. Uh, okay, 260 out. Yeah. I'll even pull out mine just for a backup shot, just in case. Nope. Nicely done. 5075, 2550, 025, and. Yep. Down. That's the one thing I don't line. like about the moose. They look so dark. Sometimes the females, you'll see them, and it'll be... Done. Yeah, but not black. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but, I mean, they're supposed to be a dark brown, but not pitch black like that. Makes me think there's a melanistic there, and yeah, there's never a melanistic there. Mm, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It kind of looks brown from this angle. Maybe it's just the way this, the light is. But when there's shadows, everything looks really dark anyway. There's a bear. I want that. It's a darker one. Fifty seventy five, twenty five fifty. He's not gonna run, he's just gonna sit there and fall over. Okay, that works. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to go tracking him, I like it. Yep, that's the best type of uh, kill. <laughs> Very nice. See everybody talking to Mr. Beard about the lodge. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think he's had much time to fill the lodge, but I'm sure once he does have the time, he'll fill that thing up in no time. I imagine he'll have an all-diamond moose lodge. <laughs> Nothing but meese. And then a lodge for all his other diamonds. Because the <laughs> moose have a special place with Mr. Beard. Next gen says, you know you're a good deer hunter when a sixth grader shows up, five college kids, that, that a deer has antlers and not horns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Beard did get quite a few rares on his last stream, if y'all missed it. it pretty good one. 838 gold. And very nice. And here's a light brown, so we'll taxidermize that one, just so different for a variation. I wanted to head that. Uh oh. Another, Another bear. Bit. Different fur variation. Where's she at? There she goes. Oh, oh. I didn't get my gun out on top. Oh, there she goes. It hit her. Oh. Yeah. She's going down. 50 75. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, I was going to say, the old uh, 9.3 slugs work pretty good on headshots on the bear. Do they? Oh, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Well, really, I mean, if you're going for headshots, you can even pull out the Mosin. Oh, wow, I got a vital at that angle. I'll take it. Probably a single one. <laughs> and Mr. Caleb Sears, yeah. how's it going? Hey, Doc. Good to see you. How goes your, what is it, aeroplane or X-plane or... Whatever it is you've been playing lately. Some He's kind of plane, yeah. flight simulator. How's that been going? Oh, yeah. I've, I've listened into a couple of his uh, games when he's talking to the tower. <laughs> it's pretty uh, pretty good. There goes a small level four reindeer. And that one was a red-brown, so yet another different fur variation. Holy cow, how many fur variations are there? Because there's spirit, too, that we haven't got yet. We've gotten gold. And melanistic as well, no? Yeah, melanistic. Uh, I imagine there's albino. There's quite a few brown bear for variations, apparently. Yeah. That is pretty cool. This is probably the map I've spent the least amount of time on overall. And funny enough, it was the first map that I did content on. <laughs> <laughs> on the YouTubes. That's been almost a year now. That's crazy. It doesn't time flies. It does not seem like it's been that long. Yeah, it's uh, this year has gone real quick. Yeah, my son will be five this this month and nineteen days actually. So yeah, time is just uh, flying. Cool.
Got a piebald and an albino in your lodge. Very nice, Taylor. Ooh, sweet. Thought I saw something through the brush there. Maybe not. And we really didn't even hit my favorite part of the lake over there, but that's all right. We're going to keep moving north. Because there might be something really good on the other part of the lake. Okay. And that's the thing about Medved is the Medved's probably the one map that I literally, when I did hunt it, I jumped all over the place just to the big lakes. I never did much. I'm good, thanks, around. Mrs. B. I should just ask him how I was. <laughs> There's another bear behind us. Not too worried about her though. So, has there been any other news, speaking of Mr. Non, on your uh, internet front there? No, not yet. It still says May, so, uh, you know, fingers crossed. Can only hope. Right. I, I knew the time was getting close, so I didn't know if you had heard anything yet. Yeah. No, no, not yet. I'm still checking the mailbox every day for that letter that says you can now get decent internet. <laughs> uh, Caleb is asking what league or what rank I am in Rocket League, and Caleb <laughs> Quartz answers him. In real life, <laughs> Sean is the rank of father. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're just wrecked. Tell these moose to shut up. <laughs> yeah, quite a few around this little lake. There was. More to the, there's more to the right as well. Some reindeer way out there too. Oh, Zaggy was still here, but he's uh, says he's off, so he's obviously going to bed. All right, Zaggy, take it easy, bud. Thanks for hanging out and sending the little raid party over. I appreciate it. See you later, mate. Oh, these moose are right next to me. Yeah, they're everywhere. I was trying to see if that reindeer was going to turn around, but it looks like it just kept on trotting away. Was there another one? Is there more than one? Where's the other one? Oh, yep, there is more than one. You shoot the closer one, I'll shoot this one right here in the back. Uh, I don't even know where you're looking. I can't. I'm that... stuck in the undergrowth at the moment. Okay. You go for it. I'll shoot someone on the run if I can. Oh, she keeps moving her head. I was going to shoot her in the brain, but she didn't want to hold it still. Oh, she turned her head. Dang it. Reload quickly. Wow, that moose was fast. There we go. We got her with that one. That's the only thing about the brain shots. Some of the animals, they wiggle their head a little too much for me to feel comfortable taking brain shots. Missed. Here she is, right over here. And <laughs> they're all talking about calling Zaggy, Zaggy DK, Fatty DK. Yeah, I think Flinter did start that one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see where we at now. Yep, we're heading the right way, just pretty much north, northeast. I want to head to check out that other little pond area. Ah, uh, yep. It's usually where I have the best luck, but you were telling me the uh, that you went and checked out what we used to call Moose River, and it was pretty empty. Yeah, yeah, I was surprised. All my, uh... there's that reindeer. There's Level another four. Yeah. He kept trying to come back and then run off and then come back. We got another bug to moose here, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, I went down there and I had nothing. There was no need zones. It was it was pretty disappointing. Like all my need zones were there had gone, and I found one male moose and like three females. Just the tracks, I didn't even see them, so they were just passing through. Look at that! It's another one like that. 
Oh, wow. Okay. You, can you want to jump on trophy. his back and I'll shoot it in the head? <laughs> well, you don't even need to shoot it. It's already <laughs> dead, apparently. Oh, you said... Oh, okay. Go ahead. Pick it up. I would, yeah. but I'm worried it'll crash my game if I pick it up. <laughs> I, I actually cannot... Uh, I've got nothing. Hmm. I can see it, but I can't pick it up. There's no thing saying collect it. Well, try to shoot it then. Uh, she ran off. <laughs> no blood or anything either. <laughs> that? No. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, is that the 470 or the grilling? Or the grillic? That was the drilling. The, the slug to the head. So, oh, wow. you know, that could have done something. <laughs> but, um, yeah. No, no, no. I don't know. That was pretty Bizarre. interesting there. Yeah. <laughs> A few little bugged Hello. animals today on the med bed. <laughs> is, is that hunt? Press. Is that where we sh where I shot her? I think that's where I shot that female on the lake oh, right there. Yeah. Okay. I think. I don't know. We'll yeah. know if your consent just drops off out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, true. And hey, Chico, how's it going? Good to see you, my man. Hey, Chico. There's that level four again that's been following us this whole time. We actually ran up straight parallel to that lake, so I'm just going to head straight east and take a quick gander. Look around, see what we find. Those rocks get me almost every time from a distance. I'll just see some dark objects and, oh, animals. Nope. It's a bunch of rocks. Female moose there. Hmm, not seeing much. Not much here, huh? Not much at all. We cleared. We cleared the hunting pressure where we started. I'm curious. I'm halfway tempted to go back there just to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> see what else is in that area. It is a different time though, so there could be absolutely nothing down there. Who knows? Mm, true. But, like you said, no, why not? Let's jump back down there, see what's in that area. Right. And All Around Sportsman says, Flinter starts all the fat jokes around here. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag blame Flinter. Well, we don't have that same group of... Uh, the welcoming party that was there earlier. No, no. I mean, they may have moved down to the lake now. There may be more on that lake. They very well could have. What time we got? Half twelve, so yeah, maybe. Could be. Oh. Musk deer. Mm. Mating call. You can always count on there to be at least some musk deer laying around. Oh, yeah, pretty much every corner of the map. <laughs> There's something right there. I don't know if that's our musk deer. Yep, it is our musk deer. Or a musk deer, level two. That's all we got in the area. We may just shoot that guy. That is the one animal I think that I've seen the, the picture on where they got a diamond with a level 2. That Ooh, I've wow. actually seen the picture. <laughs> and hey, Sean, how's it going? Glad you could make it. And a warning call from a different musk deer. Yeah. Somewhere up behind those trees, but can't see it. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I'll see him running off. Ah, he's just a level one. Hey. 
the where'd that level two go? Pull doll still there. Oh no, there he is. I was fixing to say yep. they tricked us. <laughs> <laughs> Distracted us with the level one so the level two could get away. This thing will let us get to it. Should be able to get. Oh, starting to notice this. Fifty seventy five, twenty five fifty. Dead. <laughs> but how is uh? How's your hunts been lately, Non? Have you been doing the same, pretty much just grinding for the, the elusive diamonds? I've been trying, but, uh, yeah, probably not as much time as I'd like to spend on there in playing other games and stuff, so. But, uh, trying. Got a few nice level 2 whitetail and some level 4 blacktail, but just got to wait and see if they come back as uh, anything bigger now. That's the problem. Yep, same here. I'm, uh, I'm in the same boat with you. And Mr. Buddha Maxwell, how's it going, Buddha? Good to see you. Hey, Buddha. Sean's asking if he's missed anything. Just uh, a whole basket full of golds at the beginning there, though. No? Yeah, <laughs> from this, pretty much this exact area. Got another four yeah. up here and on. Yeah, I just got you another need zone for it. Very nice. There's a couple of more there as well, down behind the ridge. Caught a one pound bass, big for the pond we go to. All right, well, congrats on that. Or congrats to your dad on that. Sorry about that. Misread that. I, I have yet to be able to go fishing this year. Um, I really want to go, but uh, most of the time when I go, me and my buddy, we take the kayaks out and uh, we have a blast, but I my back's in no condition to be going kayaking right now. <laughs> But we usually go out, spend the whole day out there, pull up on an island somewhere, start a fire, we'll cook whatever fish we've caught so far, and hang out for a bit, fish on that island, and then hop back in the water. Don't know if they're going to spook, or did they already spook? Nope. Yeah, I'm not sure. They're nope, down behind they're that still there. Be very, very sneaky. That's the one we want right there. Oh, not the three three eight. Um, you want to drop one of the other ones? Um, about. 18 behind you, so if they start moving, just go for it. Okay, I'll wait for you then. Yeah, unless they start taking off. And hey, John Pat, how's it going? Hey, John. How uh, far away are they? Uh, like 119 from me. Right, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Cartwheel. 50, 75, 25, 50, and I've lost sight of it, but I'd say dead about now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Didn't get to see the cartwheel that time. Shame. No. no. <laughs> Can't call it out. <laughs> and you got Mr. John Pett in the chat there saying hello to you, Mr. Nolan. Yeah, good day, non. Um, good day, non. Wow. <laughs> so I'm saying good day to myself. <laughs> I meant John. Sorry. <laughs> and I do, Sean. I do have a hall of shame or a lodge of misfits or whatever you want to call it. I do indeed. I have quite a few whitetail in there. <laughs> Level one. Let's see, we're all in these tracks here. We got some musk deer, some reindeer. I want to go check that little, what time is it in game here? Oh, it's only, uh, that might be a good time actually. Go check that little river out 
that uh, we had luck on Beard Stream back when he we were doing the uh, it was around Christmas time I believe the Rudier hunt. Rudier, Rudolph hunt. Reindeer. Uh, reindeer. Yeah, yeah, yep. Words that are a thing. Because I actually had some decent reindeer need zones there, and uh, if we go look, there's absolutely nothing there. No need zones at all. Nothing. No. <laughs> so we may go up there and it be a big bust, or we may go up there and get lucky. We'll just have to go check it. Just want to get into this next opening here, make sure we don't see anything else nice. Get yelled yep. at by another bear. And Officer Taylor's asking you, have you ever seen TJ Hooker? I have. TV show. Yep, me too. I indeed have. used to watch it all the time. Uh, that one looks like another gold or cinnamon. We've already got that for a variation. Gold seem to be extremely common. Yeah, I, I want a level one elk. I haven't got one yet for the lodge. And I mean the level one that scores like a 15 trophy rating or whatever it is. The little bitty bitty one. Because <laughs> I actually got a level two that was pretty tiny and I, I mounted it just because it looked, I don't know, it could have been a deer, not a elk. Your footsteps scared me for a second there. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, is that a musk deer? No, no, it's not. Well, nothing too impressive out here. We have a musk deer way out there. There was a bear running across, but... Not much. Down else. on the lake itself, there may be a couple. Yeah, there might be. Where are we at? Yeah, we're almost there. Might as well go check it out before we go to another area. Bethany B got one of those before the lodge. She thought it was a cow elk until she harvested it. <laughs> yep, those are the ones we're talking about. Those little bitty things. Another lynx right there. shoot it but I don't want to shoot it in the butt and have to turn for us to have a decent angle on it keep stopping but it doesn't look like it's gonna turn so we'll let it go because I did not taxidermy that one from earlier and I do want to put one in the lodge yeah fisherman Rue's here and hey fisherman Rue how's it going good to see you Yeah, so I, I, I don't know. I think I like this setup better. I actually I moved my whole setup to a different room, and I changed the uh, my monitors around. So now my gaming monitor is on the right-hand side, and my chat and YouTube monitor is on the left hand. It's taken a little bit of getting used to, but I think I'm going to like it a bit better. A 44 lever? What are we talking about here? I'd love to have a 44 lever in the game. I, I know we just got it not that long ago, but I'm ready for another weapon pack already. <laughs> I think that's something they should just be throwing out left and right. Till we have, you know, a gazillion guns like Classic does. <laughs> or Moose over there to the... Southwest and Warren Tiller with the subscription. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, another small mate one, huh? Yep, and there's another one out there to the west, almost directly west. Quite a long way out. That's the one I saw. Oh, no, okay. That's not the same one. Yeah, that one is a good ways out there. Try something here since everything's semi far away. I'm gonna try a. 
Oh, see, it's hard to tell the zero. That's probably not even 300. Let's back up some. Try to take a long shot on that female moose right there. Cool. Probably mess it up, but eh, why not? Oh, of course she goes to move. <laughs> Hold still, Lassie. <laughs> or she'll go hide behind a tree. What's the distance what about of that, that one? That one there behind that rock. Ah, that one's still close enough to 300. Oh, see, he messed it up. Tried to shoot her in the brain at 300. <laughs> Ooh. 7,500. So oh, yeah. She's not going to go down one. from that. Yeah. I don't want to take it on the shot on a walk just in case I actually wound it better than a flesh and not drop it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some reindeer coming in, possibly. There's a single female coming down the hill to the north. Oh, very nice. Something yell at us from somewhere back there. Let's throw out some antler calls in. Maybe we'll pull in some more. I'm actually impressed with how well the Mosin does on the reindeer. Double lung is not a... Well, I say double lung. I got lung and liver at 150 meters, and it gave me full quick kill. And hey, Matthew Murphy. How's it going? Good to see you, man. Hey, Matt. Oh, have a good day at work, Buddha. I'll catch you later, bud. <laughs> you see what Julia put? Kill to hunt rabbits with an orbital strike ion cannon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The saying about bunnies, she got a, an albino on Leighton. An albino bunny on Leighton. That's just unbelievable. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I never even seen that. Oh, one. <laughs> look, there's that moose. It's actually 50 to 75 with a flesh wound. Uh, oh. Well, I'm going to put another bullet into that if you want to take that reindeer right there. Uh, yeah, Candy. I might try the 9.3 on it. Just have a, see what it look, does. All right. Just let me know when you're ready. Ready. Three, two, one. So, gave it a heart shot. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Go down, Moose. 25.50. She's probably going to die from that, but... Wow, she's going to make it a bit. She's going to make it a ways. There's more reindeer just came out of the trees. To the right. So the calls didn't do it, but the shooting guns did it. Okay. I get it. Uh, 9.3 is 100% everything. Nice. That's where And we're... heart shot, right lung and liver. Went straight through. Nice, very nice. See, I would put one of them in the wall of shame, but they're famales, so they're supposed to have small horns. I want a level one male like that to put in the lodge. Although that one looks smaller than that one. Oh wow, did not mean to pull it that quick. <laughs> oh, that was only a flesh wound, eh? Your point, you're aiming at the sky, apparently. What? <laughs> mm, yeah. I, yeah. Oh, I ran out of breath. Dang it. 2550. Oh, well. I want to see where we hit this one, because that seemed like the first shot actually did hit, but it was delayed. I don't know. We shall see. Oh, it's just another trivial one. Let's get going. An all rabbit lodge. That is one. I, I think there's too many of the small plaques in the lodge. And mm, I think yep. they should allow us to put the deer, the spring box, stuff like that on the smaller plaques. There's still plenty big enough for it, in my opinion. And wow, we hit that guy in the neck. That's why we dropped it. I'll take it. Nice. And, yep, our other one did finally die. So we're going to do a little bit of tracking. 
not too bad but we'll run we'll track this one that ran away and then we'll go fast travel and check out that river up north yep okay sounds good Let's see if we can get lucky up there okay we got a non-vital that time still 7500 though holy cow 5075. I need to find a better. What track color do you use for Medved? For your active uh, track? Just, uh, just the pink. I'm not it's just the stock standard. Every time I change it, it, it um, seems to revert when they put a patch or update out. Well, maybe that's what this is. I, then. I don't know. It. It's, it's kind of hard to see. It is a little bit tricky, yeah. Have you tried like the, the red? Uh, yeah, like the dark red or whatever. Well, it's because like in the forested areas, it doesn't work that well. Or I have yeah. trouble seeing it, and I can see this one great, but in the super white, wide open areas, it's it's hard to see some of those tracks. Yeah, you get like a whitewash. All right, well let's head up. Snow there. blind. Yeah, right. Snow blinders. <laughs> let's go. Actually, let's go see. Wow, I have one need zone right there and none up here. <laughs> so actually, let's go to this one and check out these little lakes. Okay. And wow. SOS wants to shoot a 50 BMG. Good luck with that. That's a big bullet. That's a big gun. <laughs> <laughs> I shot a, a 50 cal uh, Desert Eagle. And uh, that was big enough for me. The recoil wasn't ridiculous. It's just, it's like $2.50 a bullet. So you really don't want to shoot that much. Or <laughs> well, you don't want to miss if you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it, no, it, it, I don't know. I mean, I would have to really, really not like something to want to spend $2.50 on a bullet to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> when you could buy an AR or, you know, Tons of other calibers for, you know, 20, 30 cents a round. <laughs> yep. Musk, musk deer in Siberia, maybe. Right. Yeah. I, I'd spend the 50 cal on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing anything just yet. Nice and slow, though, just in case. That's a pretty long barrel 357. Wow. Kind of an oddball length, too. Usually they're 8 or 10 inches. Is that the Dirty Harry style? Uh, somewhat, yeah. It's Dirty yeah. Harry style, but Dirty Harry had a 44 Magnum. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. I think it was 44, wasn't it? Which, if Dirty Harry was made nowadays, he would have been carrying a 500 Smith & Wesson. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I want to see. <laughs> I saw a thing on Facebook. It uh, it said a uh, like five hundred Smith and Weston. When the bad guy is hiding at your neighbor's house behind the fridge. <laughs> Cause that's just that's that's a big bullet with a lot of penetration. Which really, I mean, the only practicality of it is is self defense against bears and stuff like that, because you need such a big caliber to actually hurt a bear. Those grizzly bears, you shoot them with a nine or a three fifty seven, you're just gonna make it angry. Yep. Nice all around, killed an eleven point one hundred thirty eight score with a three hundred wind mag. Very nice. Yeah, that's a pretty. 300 wind mags a pretty big caliber for a 13 year old 300 wind mag carries a decent amount of punch with it and mattress munchkin yeah yeah if we start talking about civil defense ammunition uh the cost goes up even higher <laughs> Yeah, biggest rifle I own at the moment is just a 308, but I love my 308.
Oh, some boar. Or boar tracks. I don't know how old it is. I can have a look in a sec when I get there. Stirred veg. We've only killed one boar. Or, no, we killed three boar, didn't we? Those three glitched ones. Yep. Let's try. Uh, very old. Very old, okay. Then we'll just keep running north. That is the way it went, though. You never know. Could be at a feed zone not far away. Exactly, yeah. And yeah, here goes the, the firearms talk in the chat. It's going off. <laughs> <laughs> Something I could talk about forever. I need to go back to the range. I haven't been shooting in a long time, actually. Yeah, you can save a lot of money by reloading your own ammunition. The only ones that I think is not practical for is 22s. I don't think you save much money by reloading 22s. They're fairly cheap anyway. Not as cheap as they used to be, but they're still fairly cheap. This is the map I definitely need eagle eye on. There's just so much, so many branches and stuff. It's hard to see stuff uh, this, moving. It, it's hard to spot stuff in this one for sure. Oh, most right in front of us, female, 29 meters <laughs> north. Oh. <laughs> she just spooked. Yeah, and very hard to see anything unless you're standing yeah. on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that moose there to, you know, <laughs> yeah. really push the point across. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't spook though, because we were running through there, so it was a bit weird. Oh yeah, 300 wind mag on a on a deer is uh yeah, it'll drop them right in their tracks a lot of the times. That's that's a big caliber for a deer. <laughs> hey, piggy call in front of us to the north. Very nice mating call too, so they're not spooked yet. We'll just walk up to them then, or walk that way. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Mattress Munch can cast his own buckshot in round balls. That is pretty cool. I've wanted to get in the muskets and uh, black powder rifles. I think that'd be a fun little hobby. I want Make him to bring black powder. Balls. Yeah, I want him to bring it to this game. <laughs> I'd love to have a black powder rifle in this game. Could you imagine the with the graphics and the smoke how it would look? I mean, you see that them would in be classic. Pretty cool. They're pretty awesome in classic. I'd love to see it in this game. I don't think they'd have too much problem putting into this game the, the way the graphics and everything are. I don't you, think you so know, either. The fog that rolls in and stuff, so Really? There we go. <laughs> it's like this is the smallest rock and I can't jump on top of it. I'm trying to see if I could see any sign of those pigs in front of us, but I do not. So we're kind of veering off course where I wanted to go. I always give them some calls, see if they pop up. Because I don't think they were that far away. Not from the size of the parentheses there. It didn't seem like it. Probably within about 200 quite easily. So, But they could be behind these trees any anywhere. We just... And just can't see them. Yep, that's very possible. Yeah. We'll give them a second just to see if they respond. But I actually wanted to go that way, and we went this way, which is fine, though. We'll just run out here and take a look out on the big ice. All right, let's get moving. Okay. Only got, like, 20 minutes left in the stream. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do a, a lodge visit? And uh, I don't know if I will. Um, may just leave that up to chat there. Up to y'all. If y'all want to uh, go to the lodges, let me know. It was just one pig. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Rest.
rest zone for one pick. <laughs> so yeah, in chat, uh, if you want us to go to the lodge before we end the stream, uh, press 1. If you just want us to hunt all the way until the end of the stream, uh, press 2. And we'll judge it based off the 1s and 2s. But until then, we'll just keep running north here. Uh, sounds like the pigs are over to the left somewhere. That was Their a way off. Female that time though. Yep. One's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, one and two, one, two. <laughs> wow. I was hoping for a more definitive like. Sp <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's gonna be a. That's flip pretty. Of a coin, I think. <laughs> that that's uh, yeah. And yours truly, how's it going with the one? Shane Wireman's here as well. A couple of you guys were here that I didn't see. Dan Platt. Gonna have to do more surveys like this more often just so we can get you guys in the chat. Yeah. Quite a few <laughs> ones though, so I think we will take a look at the lodge before we end the stream. But I do want to make it up here to the ice first and see what's uh, see if we got any decent animals on the ice. And then I've got to go through my numbers and remember. Let's see. I don't even think I have a medbed lodge. Oh. And Shane says he's been here, just been quiet and chat today. All oh, good, Shane. I get that. I lurk in quite a few streams. Um, sometimes you just don't have the ability to just, you know, be active in the chat. Uh, dream animal to hunt. Uh, are you talking about in real life? If we're talking real life, I would have to go with red deer. Um. I never really looked at anything with red deer until I played this game, and I was like, there's no way they look like that. So I had to look it up, and yeah, I definitely want to uh, go red deer hunting at some point in my life. That's made the bucket list. Links. Yeah, from my left. left. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. really just running like a crazed person making a bunch of noise hopefully mm -hmm. pushing everything out towards the ice <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing i wouldn't mind trying one day maybe when we're just all hanging out in discord with nothing much to do i'd like to get a line of us you know like right here on four wheelers but start down by like the railroad tracks and just haul butt towards the ice and see how many animals we can push out onto the ice yep yeah, that would be pretty cool well, there's a musk deer, and we haven't just destroyed a musk deer with the 338 yet today, so. Let's do that. It now. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a level one trivial. It was worth getting blasted. There was a female, too, but she ran off. She actually ran before the male did. That's how you know he's little. Yeah. He stuck around when the female spooked. <laughs> and very nice, Caleb. I see Caleb's getting better at the Rocket League. He's been playing it pretty steady the past few days. He's actually doing aerials now. Congrats. Nice. And Peyton asks, what do you think will look better with true racks, elk or white-tailed deer? Um... I think the whitetails will look better, honestly. Um, the elk, I have a feeling, are going to have the, the same bit. It's like the blacktail. We're going to see a lot more smaller elk than we see now as far as size. I don't think they're going to look as crazily massive as like the level 4s and 5s do now. But we'll see. You never know. The, the uh, elk and classic look pretty good. so We shall see. I want to see how the mule deer look and what they do with the mule deer. That's what I'm looking forward to seeing. The mule deer, the red deer, and the fallow. Those are probably the ones I'm looking forward to most besides the uh, white tail and black tail. Oh, very nice. Hey, Todd Cooley. Neighbor from the south in Victoria, Texas. Very nice. Well, welcome to the stream, man. Glad to have you. 
What is this? We have no animals on the ice, no. No. What is this heresy? Um, yeah, I don't know. There's usually always at least one animal just sitting out there drinking or something. Yeah, normally a musk deer. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Buddha. Of course, Buddha's looking forward to the... Uh... Oh, there's a reindeer. To the left there. Oh, got... there's a couple coming out. Yep. Yeah, we Four put... and. Uh... We pushed them out. I do have the 7mm here. If it gives me a better broadside, I'll take it at this distance. Oh, stay still. Oh, you jerk. You don't stop. I'm going to shoot you while you're walking, and it'll probably be a bad shot. I think I hit it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he forced my hand. He wouldn't stop moving. Yep. Yeah. I right, can give you a nice, peaceful death, you know, nice, clean kill if you just stop. But they refuse. Yeah, they don't always like to play game, like play ball. They, uh, no, they like don't. rebels. Especially the higher level animals. They're, uh, oh, yeah. They're very difficult at times. Let's see. Did I even hit it? I don't even see any blood over here. Oh. Didn't hit the tree by any chance, did you? I very well could have. Did I hit the tree, Sky? Oh. There's hunting pressure here, right here, though. Some more um, reindeer right there. Very nice. I'm trying to figure out there's why there's hunting in... pressure here and no blood. Oh. Wait, there's blood out there in front of you. Yep. So Non-vital. Ah. Should have died, though. Yeah, he ran over this way, where they're at, actually. <laughs> see, it's so hard to see that color. We've got a bear up there in the trees. Six hard. Oh, Need very nice. For it. Well, you hadn't shot any of the bears today. You need to... Your gun, the barrel's too cold. You need to get that. You need to warm it up. <laughs> Go ahead and take that guy out, and I'll get a drink of water. Okay. I'll go with the, the Grelic and try for a neck shot or a brain shot. About 187 for me. Oh, nice. Oh, there's another one in there. It... Oh. I didn't even see her. Nah. Well, let's go check out that bear. Nice shot, by the way. Very nice. Yeah, I was um, yeah pretty happy with that one. That should have been neck. It could have, I mean, oh awesome, rain, Miss but B. It could have been neck. Mrs. B is doing a fundraiser tomorrow. Big bike for heart and stroke. Wish me luck. Well, all the best of luck, Mrs. Ooh. B. I hope that uh function yeah, turns luck. out awesome. Here, that one was a silver with 45% quick kill. And we got it in stomachs, stomach and intestines. Okay. Not terrible, terrible shot, but only 45% quick kill. And Mr. Non's bear, where'd that thing score? I didn't even see it. I don't know, I haven't picked it up yet. I just heard something. I thought I heard another bear running, but I wasn't sure if it was stalking or running. Well, I'll to and grab 338 it and iron sights, and we'll just run. <laughs> I wish the bears were more aggressive. I really do. Uh, yeah. Uh, gold 828, and it was a brain shot. Very nice. What fur variation? Uh, cinnamon. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. Yep. 1300 smackaroos for the. Lodge. <laughs> right. <laughs> Say, well, for saving for the lodge, I should say. Yeah, I'm still doing decent on money. I mean, 
I had over a million oh, when I started. Come in. Pig coming at you. Or easy. Ah. It's charging. <laughs> Pull up those and come back. Oh, I think I shot over it. Dang it. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't. I had one bullet in the Mosin. <laughs> oh, no. Chase down that pig. I want that pig. That's a gold. The wind's terrible, though. Hot bacon pursuit. I saw it right there in front of me for a second. But it went down over the ridge. There it is. Just highlighted it. Southeast. Nice. That was a hit. Uh, maybe I need flesh. Uh, it's going down just slowly. 75. Won't be a good score, but it'll still look good in the lodge. Either way. Yep. And since everyone wants to, uh, since there was a good portion of people wanting to see the lodge, uh, we'll grab this guy and then we'll go throw these animals that we got in the hunt today in the lodge. We won't take a long yeah, time on it, though. I'm not going to be super picky about the, the placements. You got some nice gold reindeer to put in there, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I got a couple of them. And that one was ended up being a silver, but we're gonna go ahead and taxidermy it anyway. All right, well, let's jump out of here. Let's go to the system main menu. I wish I do wish you could jump into your lodge from multiplayer though. I don't know what it would take on the programming end of things for that to happen. But, uh... Mm, don't. I think that would be pretty cool. Instead of having to go to single player, then lodge. Okay, so Yeah, this it would make it a bit easier. It's our Leighton. This one's Varonga. I believe this one was Parquet or Hirsch. So is four empty? Do I have any of them empty? Let's see. Let's see. This one may be my Parquet Fernando one, actually. I'm not sure. But I'll probably end up combining Hirsch and Medved, since those are the two animals I don't hunt as much. Oh, looky here. We do got an empty lodge. Very nice. No, no diamond today, Todd, unfortunately. Let's see. What do we want to put here? See, we got all kinds of different... Uh, Brown bears. Uh, let's put our albino one in here. I'll probably end up moving her to the lodge, but that's just too cool. Then we'll put a regular one on this side here. Let's see. I think that was our biggest with a 24. Wow. I can only imagine what the fives look like in the in here holy cow super nice and, oh yeah oh we yeah. can put the musk deer here very nice we can put the musk deer on the little round one in the lobby i'll take that and what are we gonna put it here let's put that red bear here please tell me there's one where there we go that's the ones i like where they're freaking jumping out of the trophy or jumping out of the <laughs> them out put another brown bear here what not a mallard oh we can't put bear there okay well, let's put our boar here very nice matching side by side boar not too shabby yeah i uh <laughs> i do have seven lodges courts and i'll uh i'll break them all down here in just a second <laughs> I think I need one more, honestly. <laughs> Very nice. And then I think these ones over here are big enough that we can put the bears on them. In this hallway right here. <laughs> oh, nope. We can't put bears on that one. Are those... Ah. We can only put bears on these giant ones. I want a full body mount of a bear then. There's light, there's gold, there's cinnamon. Let's put cinnamon in there. Very nice. We're going to 
have some more bears in here. Let's put a gold one there. And on this I do side. like the bear poses that you can do with those. They're pretty cool. Yeah, I like those too. Yeah, I like that one. We'll have this one being less aggressive, more aggressive. And I believe that is it of what we uh, taxidermy today. I do have, let's do a quick explanation of why I have seven lodges. Okay, so we've got number one, which is our Leighton Lodge. Two is our um, Veronga Lodge. Three is um, actually Parque Fernando, I believe. Four is going to be Medved and Hirschfelden. Then we've got five, which I believe is my Rare Lodge. Six is the Misfits Lodge. And seven is the Diamond Lodge which we only have the lion that we got in stream on but i got this guy if it'll let me edit there we go i got this 953 last night um but he was glitched and so i did not make a video of him but i'm still gonna put him in the lodge just because the moose looked really good in the lodge <laughs> yeah oh yeah that looks Fantastic, doesn't it? But see, these are my only two animals I've gotten since Lodge, guys. Lodges came out. I just, I, I hadn't had the diamond look lately. The RNG has not been on my favor, and I haven't spent a lot of time on multiplayer jumping matches. So, um, yeah. See, lengthier hat. I need another Lodge. I need a True Rack Lodge. No, but I'll probably mix in some of the, uh, some of the animals on the, uh, True Rack Lodge. Um, Here's the rare lodge. Not too many rares in there. Some rare ducks, of course. This is something I do not understand. Here's a springbok. Here is a mule deer. Look at that size. That's these these mule deer are way too small. To uh, I don't know. They're just they're tiny. They should be a lot bigger than yeah. that in my opinion so ew if you just happen to catch this please please uh change this oh yeah and buddha remembers that that's right buddha was hunting with me last night when that happened but yeah we got a couple rares in here not much um but this is a lodge i'm really looking forward to filling just all different kinds of rares um the wannabe lodge here or the lodge of misfits or whatever else you want to call it is the one I put all the little guys in. A little bitty mule deer. Look at this pathetic whitetail. <laughs> that is the smallest whitetail I've gotten. I think that's the 16 trophy rating one or whatever it is. <laughs> Super tiny little forks. And then I put a level one one-horned wildebeest in there just because I think those will end up being fixed one day. So I wanted to keep that. And then a uh, not the smallest elk you can get, but he's pretty tiny. He's pretty embarrassing. Same thing with the moose over here. But yeah, so you can see, for all of you wondering why I have seven lodges, that's why I have seven lodges. Um, I think you can actually get up to ten lodges. Uh, so, I mean, there's always that option. I just wish there was a way for when you go to friends' lodges, it didn't show, you know, See, Bethany's got seven lodges. Why are you giving me a hard time there, Buddha? And Quartz, look at that. Bethany's got seven. Smart people get seven lodges. That's what it is. I see it now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> see, Fla uh, Flair got six. With a lot of money get seven <laughs> lodges. <laughs> <laughs> that that could be more uh, more to it. <laughs> but I think we're going to wrap it up there. Thanks again, everyone, for hanging out. Big thank you to you again, Mr. Non, for coming in been my spotter on the streams and uh yeah i think you spotted most of the big animals we got today so thanks again eagle eye non uh no worries man always a pleasure and uh yeah anytime man thanks a lot everyone in chat please do me a favor if you haven't already go and check out mr non inspirational gaming's channel he's got a lot of great content on there and uh yeah thanks to every one of you in chat for hanging out 
And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button on your way out the door. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy, everybody. Hey, guys.